I have been praying so often. My priest said I should relax. <laughs> Appears those Gabignanis left us a feluca. Kind of them. Septimius is the shit eater. He is the man we must escort to the devourer. And of Putinus? He will be more fodder for the Devourer. And then we return home. We will only return home with Cleopatra in our company, to show the Sea Ones what has changed, what we have changed. How are things on your trireme? Great. Foxidas has entrusted me with... Why don't we take each other here? In this reed boat. Take advantage of these rare moments between us, before your new job steals you away as savior of all Egypt. You make jokes, but it is not funny. It is greatness I am after. This country is at civil war, one simply cannot deny it. Everywhere is misery. I love you, Aya. And we are Medjai. We do serve and protect, but we walk alone. I love you, Aya. And we are Medjai. We do serve and protect, but we walk alone. I share your hatred for Ptolemy. But remember... Cleopatra is a Ptolemy. She is the better of two evils. We must serve greatness. What greatness do we serve now? We are parents. We were parents. I love you, Bayek of Siwa. But what are you of now? Death hangs in the air. The stench is great. Getting familiar with rotten flesh. Are those but Gods. The Nile will run red for many moons. Uh, Osiris will be busy. These are wrong. Holy Hades. No. What was it we were talking about? These are Romans. None of Ptolemy's naked ear debts? No. An unceremonious... Ah. Septimius has beat us. Funny how all great men are reduced to food for maggots. This is a cemetery for our ambitions. No. No, it can't be. Where is Caesar? He has arrived in Alexandria. He is heavily guarded, so there's... Bring me to him. I will get to Caesar if I have to drag myself through the sewers of the palace.
forewarning Bayek. Once we board this ship, there is no turning back. And we finish with the Queen on her throne, or each of our heads on a pike. I understand. It is rare that our cargo is a goddess. I apologize. We have no kings or queens on our ship. Only gods and goddesses. So you should fit right in. All strange and terrible things are welcome. <laughs> I am worried that my quarters are not as comfortable as your palace. Comforts? We despise them. My loyal shield boy! Are you fit? I am in awe of this goddess. We must do her well. I can't believe she's on our ship. Hey, don't be fooled by appearances. She needs us more than we need her. <laughs> Raya, she is the real goddess. There, in the distance. Aya, already showing Bayek the best places to make love, huh? Enough, Fox. It is time to make war. Brothers at sea, today we carry a precious cargo. Queen Cleopatra, great lady in perfection. She of the Sage and Bee. With so many other cocksure titles, my breath falters just to think of them. Now, if you'll direct your attention to the fore, you'll notice we have some friends bearing down upon us. Emissaries of our little pharaoh. How kind of them to come forth! Let us welcome them, shall we? Warmly! With a ball of flaming refuse! Ah, la, 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 la! This reminds me of a day 20 years back, when I sailed with a group of pirates. The Sicilians, was it? Ah, you heard the stories. That's right. I was a hired hall then, too. They were planning an inland raid on Antioch, and needed a few extra sails. It was my first and only thing into the life of a scoundrel. I prefer having a charrette of pieces. Only a charrette. A shred can be hard to come by. He speaks! The great Medjai! We are at sea, Captain. Any greatness here is yours. Ptolemites! Burn them! Alala! We Send have good in no time! Ah, Give them a taste! Up. Of our fire! Well done then! Sea craft comes naturally to you. Easier to sail about when the sea is empty of ships trying to sink you. Want a dozen missing triremes, not a lot the main fleet. It will take some time for them to find the wreckage. Onwards! Captain, my shield smells like charcoal. Damastes, please, shut up! We press on! With caution, we're not yet in calmer waters. There! More 
Bartholomew ships! They'll want to box us in and drive us against the shore. I see that look in your eyes. Why should we fight them? We can just barge on through and head straight for Alexandria. I need to be sure the way is safe for Cleopatra. We have to do this. Those Nekatiadets will feel Ra's arrows. Nice to hear Egyptian Bogerti on a Greek ship. Variety is what makes life interesting. And bloodshed. Alalalala! The fleet awaits your command, Aya! Our catapults will fire upon your order! This is not a battle we'll win without catapults! Alalala! Which one is the god of fire? Wake him up! And tell him it's time to unleash his wrath! The fleet is at your disposal. One signal, and fire will burst. Let's pay them back, Philip. Take them, you slackers! Let's pay them back, Philip. Ready. Take a piece of that. Pray. Heave. Galley speed! Burning arrows! Cut them off! Don't let them talk! Taking aim! Brace! Let's go! Galley speed! Speed, let's go! Grinding arrows! Break! Aiming! Break! Gally speed! Grinding arrows! Show your mercy! Send them to the abyss! Gally speed! Easy pace! Shit! Stop those up! They're stinks, but not the Vorsmen. Something else. Hold, Foxidas. Look there, at the water. Ships down? Damn Ptolemy! Did make a fine navy though. I'm no boxy general with bottomless Roman coffers! Those were my men! Easy, Foxidas. We're not done yet. Our catapults will do their work. We'll make them pay. And dearly, by the balls of Zeus! I want the oceans turned dark with their blood! Damastis! Make the call! Increase the rhythm! Yes, my captain! Alala! They've sent an octarim! A floating city! Blast! Do the gods wish my fleet destroyed? Tickle Poseidon! This old fish will stick in your grizzled throat! Bear up, old man. Let's not offend the gods without cause. I'll take angry gods over docile ones right now! Open up the skies and rain some kind of shit down on us! We have one last beast to hunt. Come on! Speed up! Return to favor, boys! Speed up! 
need more speed! Danger found me again. Right? You are one lucky Medjai. <laughs> As are we. Lucky to be in your furious company. Should I apologize for putting you back to work? Not at all. Not at all. My blood runs quick now. With the roar of battle. By Zeus, I have not seen this much action since the earliest days of Cleopatra's father. Let's not celebrate too roundly, old man. We're afloat in the sea with a cargo with a thousand ships. I wonder if Cleopatra survived unmarked. Those clothes looked expensive. All are safe. We are done. <laughs> Attacking starboard! Oh, we are not done! Ptolemy is Malakir, not dead yet! Get out of the reed boats. Use the fog to hide your escape. I will take care of this. Destiny is a fucker sometimes, Aya. Enjoy the calm water. I will stay in the storm. Free you fools! Don't mind the flaming arrows, huh? <laughs> Before battle, we will honor our goddess! We cannot afford to spill any Roman blood. We cannot traipse into the palace armed to the teeth. So we disarm then. 
Armed or not, they will recognize her. For once, perhaps, a queen's entrance is unnecessary. Act natural. We are meant to preside these grounds. Remember that. Is our queen all right? On phone. Who are we? Let me do the talking. None pass here without escort or a royal seal. I am the nomarch of Heliopolis. These are my philakitai. We bring gifts from our local merchants. And let them pass with an escort. Follow me. This way. Our Imperator appreciates the hospitality. Have you received the warm welcome our pharaohs always provide? We will not celebrate until an alliance is sealed. Your vizier and your king have given us fine accommodations here in the palace. However, I cannot guarantee my Imperator will hold court with you. We understand. You are a good legionary. We will be patient. Do you think we could take them all? Of course. We have better gods than them. Are we there yet? Looks. Me, he plucky. Sereno. Guest legionary, at ease. We are with the great Pharaoh Ptolemy the Thirteenth, his envoys from the east. ...with gifts for your Imperator. Carry on, then. An offering? Would you like me to help you carry your carpet? No, sorry. It is very sacred. Must be handled by the Philakitai. They understand the merchandise. Dux. Tell me. Step aside, legionnaires. Official business for the Pharaoh. Who are you? You look like a hippodrome racer. Huh. I am. You should see me race. The C1 warrior. Continue this way. Sereno. Ah, man. Domine. Me he plucky. Donumquam fore Guest legionary, at ease. Iam You will stay in the palace till all politics are concluded. Oh. House is at your disposition, Gaius. Pompeii. Pompeii was your enemy, Caesar. He was my friend first. But you are right, Ptolemy. Now let us discuss our alliance. <clears throat> what is this? Forgive, Lord Caesar. We bring a gift from our pharaoh, Cleopatra. Pharaoh? This is no gift. These are my sister's friends. It is a trap. In place of an envoy, Cleopatra sends a rug? I wonder how you all entered my palace. God! Kill these traitors! <laughs> My wretched brother. He's let the wine go to vinegar and my kingdom to pieces. Great lady, your audacity is equaled only by your beauty, Flavius. Please. 
I can offer you what my brother failed at with me. Marriage. A true marriage, that is. If you ally with my sister, I will kill every last Roman in Alexandria. Enough of the big words, little brother. Out, all. You will each be sent for when our Congress is concluded. I wish to hear both Ptolemy's side of the story. Bortinus and Septimius gone. We miss them. You will have your vengeance soon. This is Cleopatra's time to officially become queen. If she is crowned queen, we will be able to act from within. Crush the network. Tomorrow, our queen will have turned flattery into progress. We'll reconvene tomorrow at the gardens. You prove your worth tenfold today. You truly are great Magi's. Aya, dear one, thank you for coming. All is well with great Caesar. Good, my queen. Soon you will be on your throne. Yes, yes. I must ask you a favor, though. The tomb. I fear Lord Caesar should have the honor to bear witness to the author of our kingdom, Alexander the Great. You want to impress your new lover, I see. The tomb is sealed, no? <laughs> It is, but by an act of Gaia, not a royal decree. An earthquake in the early days of my father's reign has blocked the door. Do you know our metropolis well enough to suggest an alternate means of entry? The underground. You would enter from below? Well, I would find a way into the cisterns and canals below, work backwards and find a way to clear a passage into the tomb. That would solve our problem, but it seems idealistic. Fortune favors those who ignore her. I'll examine the area around the tomb and figure this out. Excellent. Rejoice. Did I tell you of the poet Catullus? I don't believe so. Another cur, who made brief mention of me in his verse. I do not study over much to please and court you, Caesar, nor do I care much to know if you be black or you be white. <laughs> Impudent man. Plato's dislike for poets had merit. <laughs> yes. As pretty as their words can be, they are roaches by the best measure. Annoying, but easily handled. And how did you handle this one? I invited him to my house for dinner and drinks. Know thy enemies as thy kin. And get them excessively drunk when it needs be.
It is a dead end, my lady. I will double check. Ensure it is. Really? You insult our effort? Broken spears. These Romans really did try everything. Hmm. They got it right. This way is completely blocked. That earthquake must have altered the structure. Hmm. Strange. This wall is not as solid as it looks. Must be a way beneath. Around! This is a tighter squeeze than the caves west of Siwa. We were smaller in those days. <laughs> Where to now, my love? It must be through the sewers. No one had the courage to plunge into Hades' rivers. We are the ones. After you, Aya. That was one big crocodile. May its soul rest in peace. About time you showed up. I was... guarding your rear. My rear is fine. Tomb. Incredible. I hope you will provide me with a similar sarcophagus. <laughs> Whatever you want, my love. It is said that his sarcophagus is full of honey. Helps preserve the car. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Promise me you will bury me with my blade, so I can protect myself in the field of reeds. Promise. These markings along the bottom, they speak of Siwa. The vault, and a scepter that Alexander holds. A moon stands in a field of trees, where a marked sphere meets its scepter. Man to king, king to god. A marked sphere? What did you do with the orb I gave you? I gave it to Apollodorus. He loves those things. We should let the others in. I'm going to keep looking around. These paintings on the wall.
Immortalis. The stuff he is holding. The markings. Ever since I was a boy, I've idolized this man. He is similar to you. I wept at the base of his statue in Rome. At 30, he was a god with an empire stretching across the known world. What have I done with my five long decades here on Earth? It's army do you vent? Together, we can do more than Alexander did. Yes. How long before the Queen stops impressing Caesar and starts impressing us? Our needs are hers as well. She will deliver. My Caesar, our emissaries have been captured at the southern garrison of Alexandria. Soldiers have reported a hostile environment. Captured? Is this Ptolemy's diplomacy? I will send my guard. Greek soldiers will pass more freely through the city than Romans. Let us settle this matter, my queen. Flavius, come. Look. We have found the great king. Taking on the entire garrison will not be easy. I may not have to take on the entire garrison. A calculated kill and a shadowy presence will fare better. If you take on the armies of Ptolemy, I would like to be at your side. I will distract the garrison with a brawl. A fine idea. I will procure the emissaries. Quod sitte volentus ut non deferens!
Septimius has plans for this peace plan. You won't get anything. Oh, sh... Somebody what just kill me! Just kill me. Finish the damn job. We need to alert Caesar. What happened to you? Septimius, they are preparing a siege of the harbor. They want to take the palace. I will not betray Caesar! How many more heads must I chop off before Caesar understands? This is futile. A change of plans. The lion says we must march on the Pharos and trap the queen. Then they said they left for. Where? Where? This guy may have more valuable information. I need to bring him back to Caesar. Hey, what? I should find a horse.
Target point in range. You're dead. Dead, you shit. Romans now? Which invading army will oppress us next? These Romans ignored us at their peril. We will riot and kill the cross. <laughs> Fellow citizens, we must take up arms! Oh. I'm heading to the Serapia. <gasps> You have loyal men, Caesar. Septimius plans on trapping you in the palace. You have no time. As I foresaw, war. Levius, they want fire. Let us burn the whole damn harbor. And if we change the Pharos light, the rest of the fleet will know what to do. We will join them by chariot. Salve, Lord Caesar. I will make the order. My queen, you should accompany me into battle. As these soldiers rip each other apart, I shall stay on my throne. I am queen until a sword plunges through my heart. And even then, my blood will stay on my throne. Good then. I stay. My life is yours to do with as you will. Now, the most crucial part of the plan. Put this into the brazier of the Pharos. She will accompany me through the city. Now, let havoc reign. Aya, if you find my brother, Ginestoi, I smell war! <laughs> we will put our queen on the throne. You are the only queen worthy of the throne! <laughs> <sighs> Give me the powder. Caesar thinks a woman cannot do this job. <laughs> Proof Caesar wrong, my love. They will attack on sight here. 